guys, it's Gabrielle Ruiz. Thanks for joining my channel. I love a haul video, okay? I was super pregnant during the pandemic and all my friends became all these YouTube mommy bloggers. So I decided to join the club and share some things that I think would be super fun for moms that are also searching, not only for some friendliness, but also some just ideas what to do during a pandemic pregnancy or a pandemic postpartum journey, because that is me. I love clothing swaps. I have hosted them. I have been a part of them. I've met wonderful, wonderful friends because of them. And uh, it's been really tough during the pandemic to do that, especially when you love clothes that either don't fit you anymore or they just have been part of your journey. You're like, girl, it's time to move on, but you're so nice. Or also you just don't want to like, you're lazy to go to Salvation Army and then, or, or, you know, your friends invite you to a clothing swap and you're like, great, I can go through all of my closet. So I used to be a size small in general. I'm 5'4", 130 pounds. Um, I'm now still 5'4", and like 150 pounds after having Mercedes. I'm about four months postpartum and I am loving my new body. I am loving my new body, okay? Um, but also like not a lot fits in my closet and I've taken out at least half of my clothes to just like say pre-baby body, bye bye because like i want to just feel great in my body right now my husband is a lighting designer and he asked oprah one time for some like millennial advice and she was like always wear clothing that fits you well now don't quote me that oprah said that officially but that's a really good story and it sounds like oprah she would say something like that so i'm a full believer of like going to target or tj maxx and like finding size mediums large i was an extra large for the first two months and like I bought yoga pants that fit me, you know? So if you're a postpartum mama or if you're a pregnant mama and looking for some, some like, you know, just like a mood lift, get a pair of clothes that's two sizes larger than what you're used to and just like put it on and like look at yourself in the mirror and be like, you look fantastic. You are working so hard body and you are slaying it. So I wanted to go through my clothing swap clothing that I was not able to go to one friend got on Zoom and invited everybody and she just grabbed everyone's clothes and like kind of modeled it. Yvette, I'm talking about you. Thank you for doing that. That was during the pandemic. She literally was putting clothes up on Zoom and all of us were like, I'll take it, I'll take it. I actually have a Patreon that shows that video. Someone was on, you know, in a car. Everyone was like all over the US, like just like, you know, just getting together as best as we could. And if you wanna watch that video, you can check the link out because it was a part of my podcast uh, special episodes. This last clothing swap, a girlfriend, Kat, she came up with the idea and a lot of girls got together, but it was like at 7 p.m. and Mercedes, Philip, and I were like, are still establishing our sleep routine and there was just no way I was gonna make it. But they put me on FaceTime and they decided to show me things that I haven't tried on yet. So I just wanna go through it today and let you know how brutal I am about saying no thank you to clothes that I don't like. And also newfound things are so much fun. And a lot of the stuff that I keep in my wardrobe that I get the most compliments on are from clothing swaps. So here we go. Okay. I don't know who these are from, but Kat, Rachel, Paula V are my friends that had the clothing swap and they were the ones that were like, either Gabrielle would love this or I said, yeah, put it in my pile. This is from Goodfellow and Company. And it's like, it's a, it kind of feels like a linen and it's pink and it's a button up. Listen, button ups during breastfeeding are all that I really want. I'm on Shein like every day, just looking at button up stuff. So we think it looks cute. I can tie it and do like a high waisted like these are like biker shorts. What I like to do is like tie it and do like a legging and then like a white sneaker, you know what I mean? And just pop out the boob, you're good to go. I live in Los Angeles, so a layer is always good because it gets chilly at night. You know when I'm going out in a pandemic, but I'm not. But at the same time, I'm not as lively as I used to be, but not because of a baby, but because, you know, everyone's like, you know, keeping their six feet distance. But, you know, this is really, really great. And what size is it? It's a medium. See? Isn't this pretty? Keeping it. Keep. I remember this during the Zoom call. This is like an embroidered black and white green tank top. Has a racer back. I'm trying to see the brand. 
There's no real brand on it, but my I think this was my friend Kat's tank top. Yes, yes, and yes. Now, I think it has adjustable, yes, it does. It has those adjustable little things, but this fits the bodice, I think, pretty well. I don't know, I'll let you know how I really feel about it. We're wide still, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is a green button up-ish. Again, I said yes to all things that could button up and down. Feels a little worn out. Now, of course it's wrinkly, but I could probably do a thing like this. This I'm gonna keep because I want to be able to feel like I can button up the boobs while I'm doing like laundry up and down the stairs in my condo. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep it, but like it's a little worn out and usually I won't, but it's a good like house shirt that can cover everything. And it's not tiny. Things aren't tiny anymore and that's okay. Here's a Vanilla Star is the brand. It's large and it's camo. It's like a faded camo and it's kind of like a crop top, which I was, I remember my friend Kat had this. And I was like, yeah, put it in my pile. First of all, I love camouflage. My husband, Philip, has all the best camouflage jokes and I fall for them every single time. So he will be thrilled. But this is like just comfy. Again, Los Angeles can be like dreary all day and then like hot for only two hours. And I just want like a layer. This is a layer that's good. And then again, I can be the baby, right? Okay, this is just a navy blue work shirt. A lot of like my work, I call them work shirts because they're like cotton and super worn out, you know, but at the same time, they're like so comfy. If you're doing a workout and you just want to change your shirt, but like put your sweat into a clean shirt, I don't want it to be like a super nice shirt. And then also like all the leaky boob moments, you know, you just don't want to be all spotty and stuff. So this is super see-through. Ooh. Okay, but I feel like slim in it. I feel like it kind of gives me a nice, nice figure. I don't know. It's a little see-through to the point where it's like, it's like a work shirt, at, like another house shirt. This is TBD. This might be a no. I think it's a no. We have another floral tank that might be nice and flowy. It has adjustable little straps, as you can see right there. What the focus? There you go. Let's give it a try. Now, sometimes these like straight flowy things, I don't know how you feel about them, but I usually don't feel like slimmer in them. So I think this is a no. It's just a little too flimsy, even if I were to adjust the straps. Okay, what's next? Oh, I remember Kat or Paula be sending me this and they're like, what do you think? And I was like, I'm probably not gonna like it, but yeah, put it in the pile, let me try it on. I know, I said I was brutal, but not really. I'm brutal to my closet. I keep sometimes way too many things from clothing swaps. I confessed. This is like sophisticated, like I'm going to an office. I feel like it might be a tie moment. I don't know. I don't know, it might be too busy for me. I mean, I am, I love black and white, that's for sure. I feel like an old lady. <laughs> I feel like an old lady. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on this. I'm gonna pass on this. What brand is this? It's super nice though. A New Day. I think A New Day's at Target. Here's another like, I think it's like a polyester pink. And I like these. I do like these, um, the feeling of these shirts. I just don't know if they're like breastfeeding friendly. Cause you know, baby's with me all the time. And I need to be able to have it be accessible. Okay, I don't know what's happening with these straps. I think I'm doing, I think I put it on wrong, but like, listen, if it's, if it's already this much of a hassle, I don't have time. I don't have time. Again, what's happening? <laughs> no. Another t-shirt. I actually feel like I have this Heather Purple, like in a, from Target, like in a small. Now I have it in a size large. Slay, loving it. I'm not gonna even put it on because it's already an automatic yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, so the yacht look of like wearing white and black stripes. I mean, I know some, I know people that like look great in black and white stripes and I don't think I look bad in them, but like every time I put it on and I have like four shirts that are black and white stripes like this and I'm like, nah. but let's see. It's comfortable. It's a little worn out up here. I think it's a no. 
And then this purple moment, I don't remember, even remember saying yes to this, but it's like super wool. Girls, I don't think I said yes to this, but you were like, just put it in her pile. <laughs> okay, it's purple. I'm not really like thrilled about it. No. Okay, last part of the clothing swap. My friend Pallavi, who has a two-year-old, hands me down all the best things, and she makes sure she gives me things that are like nice. So if you're a mom that gets a lot of hand-me-downs, just, you know, let me know what you do. Do you say thank you and then get rid of it later? Or do you say no thank you? Like, are you brave enough to do that? I'm kind of not. I'd rather say thank you and then be like, I'm gonna donate that to Salvation Army because it's, it's still in good shape, but it's just not for me. She gave me all of these molding, popsicle mold things that Mercedes is about to get into because she's almost about to start teething. And I, what I'm excited about with these kind of things is putting breast milk in them so she can teethe with like having some of my breast milk. Yeah, she's gonna start having like real food soon. Also, I'll give her like, you know, fruits and stuff, but that I'm excited about. Thank you, Paula Lee. Yeah, it's a little mold stand so they can freeze in the freezer. That's a yes. I have been seeing flannel all over and I am not a flannel person until I'm a breastfeeding mom and I want to wear jeans and I just want to tie this and just kind of have like a nice cute moment that gives me color but it's also cash, you know what I mean? Like casual. So this is a yes. It's also super thin, so I like that I don't get hot in it, but it's not like super big and bulky where it's like masculine. It still has like a feminine feel to it, which I like. This is from Lucky Brand and it's a size medium. No links below because these are all hand-me-downs. Sorry. Now, when it comes to denim jeans donated, it's really tough for me to say yes because I have a bubble butt or a big butt, whatever you want to call it. And I know my friends are all like super like well curvy like I am as well, but at the same time, I'm a little skeptical on trying these on and I'm not in the mood to do it. So there you go, I'm not gonna try it on. Oh my God, Rachel, I know this is from you. Like I know this is from you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm not a real plant person. I'm a fake plant person, so. I will put this somewhere and think of you always, thanks. Oh, I remember saying yes to this. This is a blue rain. It is a size small, we'll see. It's like kind of like a shiny little <gasps> This is what I love about clothing swaps is you'll put it on and you'll be like, ah, and then everyone in the room goes, yes. This is that yes moment. So I hope you comment below that you like this. Cause I do, it's cute, yeah. It's really cute. Super, super cute and styling. Does it zip up cause it's a small? Mm. Mm, not really, that's okay. I would never really zip it up anyway. I will wear that as a cute layer for one day when I go out again. This looks like it fits. I love that the buttons are real again for breastfeeding. So I'm gonna try it one. I'm not kidding, you can still do clothing swaps on Zoom. Oh, oh no, I don't think it fits. See, I'm a big believer in these babies not being like the center of attention. Now, I love my breasts, I love the work that they're doing, but at the same time, it's like, when they clock out for work, let them clock out of work, you know what I mean? And this is clocked in, busted out. Again, I can wear everything and anything black, and this is, it looks like again, a new day. It's an extra large, which if you think about it, like all sizes are all different for all companies. It's incredible. Like you really can't make the size of the t-shirt that you buy your part of your identity. Cause it's just like worth still trying on where it fits well. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is a large, this is an extra large and it's really roomy in the belly, really roomy in the pits, which is the bust, you know what I mean? Um, it's very low cut, so obviously I'll feel comfortable. So this is without, <laughs> this is without um, my extra tank. It's really, really low cut, so I would probably feel comfortable uh, wearing like an extra panel of a tank top underneath which is fine with me because it's super comfy and it's black. 
So also another good like audition t-shirt for self tapes. Oh my gosh, I hope this fits. I saw it, I remember this on the Zoom and it's such a cute jacket. My friend Rachel, I've seen her wear this jacket all the time and I thought it looked so cute on her and when she pulled it out on Zoom, I was like, please put that in my pile because she's cute. It feels so good, it feels so good. This is what clubbing swaps are for, clubbing swaps are for. I mean, look at this, you guys. Like. It's not too busy for like a self tape audition if I like I'm going in for an attorney or a lawyer or someone super spunky, right? Oh, I'm excited. Thank you, clothing swap. I also didn't have to pay for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and thank you to my friend Pallavi for driving and bringing me these clothes because it's really making my day. It's really, really making my day. Oh, I'm so excited about this jacket. Okay, two more items. If you are ever thinking about hosting a clothing swap, you still can do them if you don't get together, but trust me, you will love having this opportunity with your friends. And also clothing swaps don't have to be clothes. It can be um, headbands, it can be accessories, it can be skincare line, you know, any stuff that you like have that you think a friend would want. I've brought like straw, like uh, steel straws before and those went like hotcakes, do you know what I'm saying? Strong, I know my breasts are strong. I just don't think I need to wear it. Pass. Last item is this kind of sports tank. It feels like a workout tank. And then like you wear like, um, you know, a black sports bra to be sexy and cool. For all you postpartum mommies out there um, and you don't have like a gym at home or a yard, let me know how you're doing it. Cause I run out of time and space real fast in my condo to work out. I'm trying to still figure out how to crack that code. So this is a tank top. It's cute, it's really cute. It doesn't really grab at the the belly, which I like, and it covers. And I'll just wear like a great sports bra, right? I'll just wear a great sports bra so the girls are in. But this is a yes. So that is my clothing swap haul. Um, I, wanted, I thought it was super cool to do that instead of a brand haul of a company giving me clothes and I'm like, let's talk about it or a company that I bought from and I just show all of that. This also, in my opinion, is an awesome thing to share because I really recommend you doing it with your friends and your girlfriends of all sizes, of all stages, of all professions because you will find something that is a gem. Like for me today, this jacket, I've seen my friend Rachel wear this and I'm so glad she was ready to be like, you know what? Your journey with me is done. It's time to pass you on. It's from H&M and it's gorgeous. Like I'm so thrilled. It's so me. It's so Rachel and now it's so me. I'm so excited. So that's it for this clothing swap haul. Thank you to my friends, Kat, Rachel, and Pallavi for giving me your clothes and letting me try them on. I'm so glad I said yes to a lot and no to a few because I will now be donating that to Salvation Army because somebody will love that clothing. And if you feel like you would like to do this with your friends, I highly recommend it. It's such a fun time to get around and just try clothes on. There were other people's and then one person can just take everything and donate it and really, really give your closet like a refresh, a, re a revival and a restart. So highly recommend it either in person or in Zoom. It's totally possible with different schedules, different time zones, different locations. Get together with your friends. And also you can see more friend content on my podcast, What Are Friends For, co-hosted by Paula B. Sastry. You'll see the link below because this is something I love to do with my friends. Comment below, let me know what you like to do with your friends. And if it's a clothing swap, what do you like about those? Because they don't always have to be just clothing. Like I said, they can be accessories. I've gotten some fierce eyelashes, fake eyelashes at a clothing swap. Bye guys.